so line 22, 7B, 97Z70, penning ionization of C60 and C70, cross beams, mass detection, collisions, 5G well steady. Okay, there's the alien radio signal there. And there's that data. So long video. It's got PDF results, penning, penning ionization of C60 and C70. Sorry, cross beams, mass detection, colliding particles. Um, uh, which data can be used for a communications UFO device found in line 22 is wow data. Okay, so um, the previous video we talked about line 22, 7B, 97Z, 69B, trap RF field effects, C60, beam diffraction, electrons, ions, 5G, wall city. My thoughts. So I'm going to Google the keyword neutral C60 beam from previous video's findings. The graphs that both look like the Higgs boson signal CERN and results from a PDF test on something entirely different, yet the energies look similar to me. I found several PDF files about it, so I'll make several more videos. Quotes from a blog. Pending ionization of C60 and 70. There's the name of our scientists. They're from Germany, and it's from science, www.sciencedirect.com is the link. Abstract. Using cross beams and mass spectrometric ion detection, we have measured the cross sections for penning ionization of the fullerene molecule C60 and C70. In thermal energy collisions with metastable HE star, NE star, AR star, and KR star atoms, and with laser excited AR star 4P3D3 atoms. For both C60 and C70, the penning ionization cross sections are found to increase exponentially by about a factor of 100 with rising excitation energy from 10 to 20 eV. In contrast to the geometrical collision cross sections, which are nearly the same, 200 times 10, okay, there's a calculation there, I don't know how to read it, for all studied collision pairs. For HE star plus C60, we would determine the absolute value of the penning ionization cross section as, and here's another calculation there with reference to the HE 21.22 EV photonization cross section of C60, which we estimate to be 8.3 times 10 to the power of minus 20, and then m squared. The findings are discussed in terms of statistical processes in the electron system on sub PS time scale. So here's a diagram. It says a metastable A source, sorry. A source quadruple mass spectrometer, deflection electrode, channel plate detector, metal reaction chamber in ion optics, and there's a little U symbol there, scattering chamber, laser one, uh, C, C something oven, and A star monitor. Okay, so this is a schematic drawing of cross beams apparatus for photo and penning ionization studies of the fullerenes C60 and C70. The diode laser is used for experiments with laser excited AR star 4P 3D3 atoms. Supply of a suitable gas to the scattering chamber provides the ability to selectively remove the metastable atom component from the projectile beam while retaining the full flux of rare grass VUV resonance photons. That's Greek to me. I have no idea what that means. Here's a diagram that's really blurry. Um, figure 2, uh, Faraday cup current at the projectile beam monitor and C60 plus ion signal produced by a mixed metastable HE star, brackets 2L, 3S, and little tiny print. Atom and HE VUV resonance photon beam as a function of the pressure of the gas, here neon, emitted to the scattering chamber. <sighs> Take a breath. Okay, for low pressures as an exponential decrease in both signals is observed, which is caused by selective removal of the metastable atom component from the projectile beam. Can you guys hear those birds? There must be like a hundred birds out in the tree outside, and they are very noisy. First I got water running, which is disturbing me, and now I got the birds chattering like crazy. And they don't normally do that, so something's up. The constant signal at high pressure is due to HEI VUV resonance photons, which are negligibly affected for the relevant range of pressures. Wouldn't it be funny if you actually had a machine to 
decipher what these birds were saying. Be interesting what the I don't know if they share their little migration stories or what they're talking about, but they're obviously chattering like talking to each other. Uh, radio, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Radio's up on the left and down the bottom. There's excitation energy. Okay, so some sort of figure with letters and numbers and oh, that's a different power. It's KR. AR star or K whatever the K one star, AR star, NA star, and HA star. Okay, showing something. Comparison of the penning ionization yields Y for C60 plus and C70 plus production. The full horizontal line represents the mean yield ratio of 6.4 to 6. The dashed horizontal lines indicate one standard deviation. Okay. Um, the C60, C70 ratio in the solid fullerene sample used for these measurements was 6.7. Uh, now here's a distorted Higgs signal if you look at it. It goes up like a Higgs signal, but it kind of pans off to the right and then comes back down again. You see that? So comparison of photonization cross-sections Herzl at AL full line. With pending hard ionization cross-sections present work full squares right-hand scale. The absolute cross-section scale left-hand ordinate for the relative photonization data in reference 5 has been estimated to within a factor of 2 ascribed in pendant C. The absolute scale for the pending ionization cross-sections is based on the photonization cross-section, uh, whatever that graph is. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to make a note here because we I didn't pick up on it. My thoughts. Um, Higgs signal pans. Uh, levels flat at top to right, then back down again. So it's like a stationary levels flat at top. So I would say it's a standard, standard, stable frequency signal plane. I don't even know if that would make any sense at all, but you never know. That's what comes to mind. So, yeah, let's we'll see. It's bold there, not bold there. Figure that one out. And I'll use font 16 so I can read it. And add it to the bold. So we'll be put that in there later. Okay. So, figure 5. Dependence of the absolute cross section for pending ionization of C60 full squares on the excitation energy. So, again, we have our graph showing the KR, the NE, HE, or whatever the letters are, AR is over here, AR is over there, and then I can't read what it says. EA of the excited rare gas atom. Hmm. The experimental results are well fitted by an exponential function of whatever that is, and you can read that. You can always go to the link and find it. The open and full circles represent the geometrical and contact cross sections respectively see text for details. And here's another little guy here. We're going to make him a little bigger. So this is showing some sort of curve with these guys. Ionization efficiency, and then it shows excitation energy again. So it curves to the right. Um, average ionization efficiency, and for pending ionization for C60 by excited rare gas atoms. Squares represent the experimental values determined from the ratio of the measured penning Ionization cross-section of that zero thing, A symbol, to the contact cross-section zero with a C symbol. The line represents the results of the model calculation for the ionization efficiency as described in the text. That's from science, www.sciencedirect.com. Keyword Google PDF results were found. Co-usage azo dye and carbon nanoparticle in pneumatic liquid crystal will be in the next video. Thanks for watching.